A1, squat. Stand on the power plate with your knees bent and your feet slightly apart. Keeping your back straight, shift your weight mostly onto the balls of your feet. You should feel pre-tension, mostly in your legs, abs, glutes and back. This move can be performed statically or dynamically. A2, deep squat. Stand on the power plate with your knees bent about 100 degrees and your feet slightly apart. Keep your back straight and abs engaged. You should feel pre-tension, mostly in your legs, abs, glutes and back. This move can be performed statically or dynamically. A3, wide stance squat. Stand on the plate with your knees bent and your feet slightly more than hip width apart. Keep your back straight and your abs engaged. You should feel pre-tension, mostly in your legs, abs, glutes and back. This move can be performed statically or dynamically. A4, lunge. Place one foot on the plate while the other foot remains on the floor. Lift the heel on the rear leg, keeping your back straight and your abs engaged. Bend both knees about 90 degrees. Don't allow your knees to move forward. You should feel pre-tension, mostly in your legs, abs, glutes and back. This move can be performed statically or dynamically. A5, calves. A perfect exercise for strengthening your calves. Stand on the plate with your knees slightly bent. Keep your back straight, shift your weight mostly onto the balls of your feet, and you should feel pre-tension, mostly in your calves and abs. This move can be performed statically or dynamically. A6, pelvic bridge. To help firm your glutes and tone your hamstrings, lie with your back on the floor or on a step while placing both feet on the plate. Keep the knees bent at 90 degrees. Press your feet into the plate while pushing the hips upward. You should feel pre-tension, mostly in your glutes and hamstrings. This move can be performed statically or dynamically. A7, lap dip. You'll need your push-up bars for the lap dip, and this exercise is great for developing strength in the shoulders, arms, lats, and abs. While seated on the plate, place your push-up bars next to each hip. Keep your feet on the floor and knees bent about 90 degrees. Keep your back, arms, and wrists straight. Now, lift your chest as you press the hands into the push-up bars. Hold this position for about 30 seconds, or this move can be performed dynamically. A8, push-up. In order to do push-ups with your power plate, place both hands on the plate, slightly more than shoulder width apart, while the lower body stays anchored on the floor or a step. You can do push-ups with your knees on the ground or step, or while on your toes. Engage your abs and keep your back straight as you lower your chest toward the plate. You should feel pre-tension in the chest, shoulders, arms and abs. 
this move can be performed statically or dynamically. A9, tricep dip. To strengthen your triceps while seated on the plate, place your hands about shoulder width apart at the edge of the plate. Keep your feet on the floor and knees bent. Keep your back straight and lift your chest as you bend your elbows about 90 degrees. You should feel pre-tension in the upper arms and shoulders. This move can be performed statically or dynamically. A10 Biceps Curl. With your power plate straps, stand or sit as close to the plate as possible while grabbing both straps. Adjust the length as needed. Pull the straps upward to increase tension in the straps and the biceps. You should feel pre-tension in the biceps and shoulders. This move is best performed statically. A11, bent over pull. The bent over pull is great for working on your upper back and shoulders. Stand or sit as close to the plate as possible while grabbing both straps. Adjust the length as needed. While bending from the hips, pull the straps upward to increase tension in the straps and the upper back. This move is best performed statically. A12, shoulder press. From a standing position, bend forward and place both of your hands on the plate, about shoulder width apart. Keep your neck in line with your spine and shoulders aligned over your hands as you bend your elbows. Press your hands into the plate. You should feel pre-tension in the shoulders and upper arms. The shoulder press can be performed statically or dynamically. A13, front raise. A terrific exercise to work on your arms and upper back is the front raise. You will need your power plate straps. Stand or sit as close to the plate as possible. Grab both straps and extend your arms forward with your palms facing the power plate. Adjust the length of the straps as needed. Be sure to avoid shoulder elevation as you pull the straps upward to increase tension in the straps and the shoulders. This move is best performed statically. A14, lateral raise. The lateral raise is great for strengthening your forearms and upper torso. Stand or sit as close to your power plate as possible. Grab both straps and extend your arms laterally or outward with your palms facing the ground. Adjust the length of the power plate straps as needed. Be sure to avoid shoulder elevation as you pull the straps upward to increase tension in the straps and the shoulders. This move is best performed statically.
A15 abdominal crunch. To tone your abs, lie with your back on the power plate. Your feet can rest on the floor, on a step, or they can be elevated. Engage your abs as you lift the shoulders. You should feel pretension throughout the abdominal wall. This move can be performed statically or dynamically. A16, lower abs. A great exercise for your abs and lower torso is to place both elbows on the power plate, about shoulder width apart, while the lower body stays anchored on the floor or a step. You can do this with your knees bent or on your toes. Engage your abs and glutes as you maintain optimal alignment of the hips and shoulders. You should feel pretension in the chest, shoulders, arms and abs. This move is best performed statically. A17, standing abs. Another great exercise for your abs is to stand on the power plate with your knees bent and feet slightly apart. Hold onto the handles and engage your abs as you bend slightly forward. Without moving your hands, pull downward on the handles. You should feel pretension in the abs, shoulders and upper arms. This move can be performed statically or dynamically. A18, lateral abs. From a side lying position, place one elbow on the plate while the lower body stays anchored on the floor or a step, and you can do this from your knees or feet. Engage your abs and glutes as you lift the hips. Maintain optimal alignment of the hips, spine, and shoulders. You should feel pretension in the shoulders, arms, abs, and glutes. This move is best performed statically. B1, hamstring stretch. Position your feet shoulder width apart on the plate, holding onto the handlebars. Keeping your legs almost straight and your hips up and stretched backward, lightly push your back down. This stretch should be felt in the back of your thighs, i.e. glutes, hamstrings, buttocks and lower back. B2, quadriceps stretch. Place one of your knees on the power plate, keeping the lower leg flat against it, and extend your front leg out before you in a position you can comfortably be stable in. Keeping your torso straight and abdominals tight, lightly push your hips forward. This stretch should be felt in the front of your hips and pelvis. When you have completed this stretch, switch legs. B3, calf stretch. Stand on the power plate so you are facing sideways. Place your feet one behind the other, standing up straight, bend the forward leg and keep the back leg straight while pushing the heel into the plate. This stretch should be felt in your calves. When completed, stretch your other leg.
B4, abductor stretch. Stand sideways to the power plate and place one leg on the plate, close to the console. Keeping your torso straight, bend the leg not on the plate and lightly push your hips down. This stretch should be felt in the upper inside of your legs as well as your groin. When finished, switch legs. B5, lateral neck stretch. Stand on the floor facing sideways with the strap length just under your hip height. Grab the strap with one hand or using the opposite hand to gently pull the neck into lateral flexion, holding this position. When you finish, switch sides. B6, single arm pectoral stretch. Kneel on the floor with one arm on the plate. Keep your elbow bent at 90 degrees and rest your opposite arm at your side on the floor. Slowly drop your shoulders down and your chest toward the floor. While doing this, make sure your neck and back remain vertically straight and aligned. This stretch should be felt in the chest and front of shoulders. When you finish, switch sides. C1, calves massage. To massage your calves, grab your power plate mat and place it on top of the plate. Lie down with your back on the ground and your calves on the mat. Keep your toes facing upward and relax so you do not feel any tension in your calves. C2, upper arm massage. For a great upper arm massage, place your power plate mat on the plate and lie down on your side so you're facing the power plate. Put your arm on the plate. Be sure to minimize your torso and head contact with the plate and relax your body so there is no tension throughout your muscles. C3, quadriceps massage. To massage your quadriceps, place the power plate mat on top of the plate and lie facing down with entire upper legs on the plate. Support your upper body with either a step or arms. Be sure there is no tension throughout your muscles. C4, adductor massage. Place the power plate mat on top of the plate. Lie down sideways in front of the power plate and place your entire inner leg slightly bent on the plate. Minimize your torso and head contact with the plate. Be sure to relax and have no tension throughout the muscles. C5, abductor massage. Place the mat on top of the plate. Lie lengthways on the plate with your entire outer leg slightly bent. Keep your spine straight and be sure to have no tension throughout your muscles. C6, hamstring massage. Place the power plate mat on top of the plate and a step in front of it. Face up so you're looking at the ceiling and lie your entire leg on the plate and your upper body resting on the step. Be sure to have no tension throughout the muscles. D6, 
D1, shoulder and neck relaxer. Kneeling in front of the plate, extend your arms and place your hands on the plate. Push your hips back towards your heels and maintain optimal spinal alignment. Relax your neck and shoulders and breathe deeply. You should feel warmth and circulation increase in your arms, shoulders and neck. D2, low back relaxer. Lean the mat against the front edge of the plate, then sit with your back against the mat. Adjust your position to get to your desired muscle contact point. Relax and breathe deeply. You should feel warmth and circulation increase in your lower back. D3, upper body relaxer. Sit facing away from the plate while placing your elbows on the mat behind you. Bend your knees and lean into your elbows. Relax and breathe deeply. You should feel warmth and circulation increase in your shoulder, upper back and arms. D4, back relaxer. Sit on the power plate, keep your feet at least hip width apart on the floor and your knees bent. Bend forward, allowing your back to round. Your head and hands should approach the floor. Relax and breathe deeply. You should feel warmth and circulation increase in your back and hips.